So hello fellow coin collectors, this is Glenn, back with another video, and today we have a Roman coin. And this is actually a Roman coin of Antonius Pius. So if you have a look at the actual effigy, you can see um, all the Roman coins do have varieties in the actual bust. Uh, this one I've pretty much identified because it actually has a beard and just the, the structure of the face so the nose is actually quite prominent and the hair and uh, if you see you can't actually see an inscription so well you can see parts of it anyway and on the reverse we have an SC and this one was one they actually issued around the, the cities of Antioch um, this one could have been one of two cities. It could have been um, Antioch ad Orontum or, or Seleucia and Pieria. And, well, they're pretty much the same because they actually existed in similar locations. And this is actually not a cheap coin to actually purchase. Uh, there are actually quite a few on... Wild winds, and we'll have a look at those. So here are the actual ones that I've got on wild winds. So that's an amazing catalogue online. It's the most um, far out I've actually seen. So you've got Antioch ad Orentum. And here is the actual inscription. So Antonius Sebes. And it's only pretty much saying Antonius. And the piety comes... Probably because what I've read about is that he either saved some senators or he's just very devoteful to Hadrian, who was his adopted father. So Antonius Pius is actually part of the adoptive emperors. If you go on Wikipedia, you can actually look it up. And uh, that was actually the high point of Roman wealth, actually. It was very wealthy back then. Then we have these, BMC. British Museum catalogue 311 and you got other numbers in there as well and if we go down below it goes up to 19 then we've got 22 so it's a variation it has a different inscription because I can't actually read the inscription on mine because uh, most of it's damaged uh, I'm not too sure which one of these it is so I have to rely on the actual mint mark and we, then we have another inscription, Butcher 284, so that's another catalogue. So there's actually a variety of catalogues. So if we have a look at one coin, uh, we'll look at this one. This one's actually quite a nice coin. So you can see it has SC, has the inscription around here with its effigy. And this is actually uh, the mint mark of the mania. So whoever was actually running the mint mark, uh, the mint at the time, that's his inscription. And basically, at any one time in Roman coins, um, there would have been a variety of different denominations and different designs actually being produced. Because there's all engraved by hand, there's actually a lot of variety in these Roman coins. So, if we go back, one thing you can actually look as well is... Uh, let's have a look at, oh, I hate it when it does that, so Alexander, Alexander's in Egypt, so we don't really want that, and Antioch, so you get a lot of different cities, so you go also Antioch and Pisidia, Antioch and Hippum, so different Antiochs, and they're actually named after Antiochus of the Seleucid Empire. So this city is actually was founded about 300 BC by Seleucus. So what you can do is you can actually click on the text. And then it actually comes up with some information. Sometimes it has prices. So this one uh, doesn't have any price on it. But it, you can actually see who actually sold it. So... But the prices might not reflective of the current economic climate. 
So if we have a look at this coin here, so this one, we'll, then we, it gives you information. This actually sold for 15 American dollars. So, and it was in 2004. So I would say actually be hard to actually get a coin from Antonius Pius for that value because every uh, coin from Antonius Pius from Antioch has actually been quite expensive. So, and with the information, it also has Antioch and it has Seleucius and Piera, so Antiochia and Orentum. So I believe that that is the actual city, there's another city, or maybe it's a locality or region. And it gives some information. So, that's basically what the actual coin is. These are an amazing historical piece, so that's why I actually like to collect them. Not for the coin itself, but actually what it represents. So Antonius Pius was the... Roman Emperor from uh, 138 to 161 he was one of the five emperors and he was actually born in a sen senatorial family so he could have actually gone into the senate based on his genealogy and also he actually had a long career, and, and he actually built something in uh, northern England, southern Scotland, called the Antonian, Antonin Wall. So the Antonin Wall. So, so the Antonin Wall is actually in Scotland. Uh, I need to look that up. And as you can see, you've got Hadrian's Wall. Let's have a look closer. So you got Hadrian's Wall, and you got Antonian Wall. And... Actually, do they actually have any actual images of, there it is. So that's basically, they've had to excavate it. And that's basically the wall that you can actually see there. So there's actually not much left of it. This looks like uh, some, probably a building or structure, or the actual base of the wall. And here is the actual, all the fortifications are actually on it. And then you've got some cities. And you've got some inscriptions from the actual wall as well. So that's a good piece of history in the United Kingdom. So on eBay, I have actually seen some coins. So here is a low grade one for $46. And then we have some other coins. So that one's seventy four dollars. Which way is the effigy on my coin? So I'm actually looking for a coin with an effigy face in to the left, not to the right. And I actually have not found any. So this one's sixty. And if we have a look. They're all actually facing the opposite way. So actually, my coin is actually not too common. And this one is 140. So you'd be paying between about 40 and 140. My coin is actually has the patina on it still. This one, you can see the actual patina is actually coming off. Um, but it does actually have the same mint mark, it looks like. So that's probably... Similar coin, probably just different reference number. So anyway, that is a nice coin from a historical time piece, nearly 2,000 years old, and still collectible. These are uh, probably maintain their price. You know, you got the $2 coins, and people go, oh yeah, they'll keep on going up in price. They might go up in price. Oh no, they're gonna go down in price. That market, we don't know. But we know that this market is actually quite stable it, it does fluctuate go up and down but usually there's a middle point middle band in which they actually go up and down and 
and also you need to add the inflation as well. Anyway, I'd like to say thank you very much for watching my video. I'll leave a link to Roman coins and uh, have an awesome coin and banknote collecting time. Thank you and goodbye.